Hi, I'm Thomas Henson with thomashenson.com, and today we're starting a new series called Big Data, Big Questions. This is a series where I'm going to answer questions all from the community, all about big data. And so feel free to submit your questions, and at the end of this episode, I'll show you how. So today, the first question I have is a very common question a lot of people ask. Do you need to know Java in order to be a big data developer? Find out the answer right after this. So do you need to know Java in order to be a big data developer? The simple answer is no. Maybe that was the case in early Hadoop 1.0, but even then there were a lot of tools that were being created like Pig and Hive and HBase that are all using different syntax so that you can extrapolate and kind of abstract away Java. Because the key is, I mean, if you're a data analyst or Hadoop administrator, most of those people aren't gonna have Java skills. And so for the community to really move forward with this big data and Hadoop, we needed to be able to say that it was a tool that not only Java developers were gonna be able to use. And so that's where Pig and Hive and a lot of those other tools came. And now as we start to look into Hadoop 2.0 and Hadoop 3.0, it's really not the case. Now, Java's not gonna hinder you, right? So it's gonna be beneficial if you do know it, but I don't think it's something that you would wanna run out and have to learn just to be able to become a big data developer. And then the question is too, when you say big data developer, what are we really talking about? So are we talking about somebody that's, you know, writing MapReduce jobs or writing Spark jobs? That's you know, where we look at as a big data developer, or are we talking about maybe a data scientist, where a data scientist is probably using more like R and Python and some of those skills to pull their insights back. And then, of course, your Hadoop administrators, they don't need to know Java. It's beneficial if they know Linux and some of the other pieces, but Java's not really necessary. Now, we'll say in a lot of the technology, so if you look at getting out of the Hadoop world, but start looking at Spark, uh, Spark has Java, so you can write, you know, you can write your Spark jobs in Java, but you can also do it in Python and Scala. So it's not a requirement for people to have Java. And I would say that there's a lot of developers out there that are big data developers that don't have any Java skills, and that's quite okay. So don't let that hinder you. Jump in, join an open source community project, do something to expand your big data knowledge and become a big data developer. Well, that's all we have today. Uh, make sure to submit your questions. So I've got a space on my blog where you can submit the questions or just submit, submit them here in the comment section and I'll answer your big data, big questions. See you again.